All right, all right, good people. It's your boy Sex once again. And this week, I just want to talk to you about something that, you know, we all deal with day to day. Uh, we're going to talk about grief. On that note, we will be back right now. Can you dig it? Grief is a natural response to a loss. So is the emotional suffering you feel when something or someone that you love and you know, it's taken away from you or you lose them. I mean, often the pain of loss can, uh, can, can feel overwhelming. You know, you may experience all kinds of difficult and, and unexpected emotions from a shock to uh, an anger, to disbelief, to guilt and profound sadness. It is what it is, you won't feel all of this. The pain of grief can also distract your physical health, making it difficult for you to sleep, eat, or even think straight. You'll be sleeping and you know, by midnight, 12 o'clock, you're gonna wake up like, boom, ah, the ah is not really for anything. You don't even understand why you woke up. Cause I mean, you're going through shit. The more significant the loss, the more intense your grief will be. I'm not saying I'm a, I'm an expert in any of these. I mean, if you have a problem, you're gonna have to see the experts on that. But I mean, as an artist, I always observe and I always have a say in some of these things. And you know, sometimes I make sense, right? Right? Even subtle losses in life can trigger, you know, uh, a sense of grief. For example, you might grieve after moving away from a home, graduating from college, or even changing jobs. Grieving is highly an individual experience, you know? There's no right or wrong way to grieve. How you grieve depends on many factors, including your personality and coping style, um, your life experience, your faith, uh, beliefs, uh, how significant the loss was to you, uh, and so on and so forth. And there is no normal timetable for grieving. There are certain myths about, you know, grieving and, you know, um, people be like, the pain will go away faster if you ignore it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is trying to ignore your pain or keep it from surfacing will only make it worse in the long run. I mean, this is what sometimes even leads to, you know, long-term problems like uh, depression and so on and so forth. For real healing to happen, it's necessary for you to face your grief and actively deal with it. Now, myth number two would be, uh, people be like, um, it's important to be strong in the face of loss. I mean, it is it is important to, to, have, to always wish for the strength of endurance. The fact is, feeling sad, frightened, or lonely is a normal reaction to loss. Crying doesn't mean you're weak. There's nothing that you gain by trying to act like you or macho about it. I mean, macho folk are not almost get it, almost heartbroken by situations, you know? If you let it out, it's better than letting it stay in and it will eat you up. Myth number three is uh, if you don't cry, it means you aren't sorry about the loss. Not everybody cries in the face of problems. Crying is normal response to sadness, but it's not the only one. Can you dig it? I mean, those who don't cry may feel the pain just as deeply as others who cry. They may simply have other ways of showing it, you know? Um, some people just get quiet. Some people just, uh, just isolate themselves sometimes. It doesn't mean that they don't feel the same way that you're feeling or they are not sorry for what's happening. Number four will be, uh, Grieving should last about a year. Most of the time it's expected that widows in my country just grieve for a year before they can actually move on. There is no specific time frame for grieving. How long it takes differs from person to person, you know? So this person might take like a week to heal. The next person might take a month. And some people could take years to heal. So we don't really have a time frame for this thing. You know, some people actually think that moving on with your life means forgetting about your loss. You can move on with your life and keep keep the memories of someone or something that you lost as an important part of you. In fact, as we move on through life, these memories can become more and more integral to defining the people that we are and who sometimes we become. There are ways to help cope with the pain, come to terms with your grief, and eventually find a way to pick up the pieces and, and and move on with your life. Acknowledge your pain. You have to accept that grieving can trigger many unexpected different emotions. I mean, it can make you angry, it can make you sad, it can make you 
uh, a withdrawal from people and so on and so forth. So when somebody is close to you and they are going through a problem, you know, they are going through a grieving process and you, you don't give them tough time for uh, withdrawing from you or, you know, feeling sad or being angry or something like that. But rather you can actually talk to them if you understand what is going on. The next one too is to understand that your grieving process is unique to you. So you need to understand yourself and help yourself deal with it. Seek out face-to-face -face support from people who understand what you're going through. Support yourself emotionally by taking care of yourself physically. This is something that I've been doing for myself for a long time, you know. Anytime that I have a problem, I just go hit the gym. 80% of the time, by the time I'm done with a good workout, I feel good. Upstairs, can you dig it? And the last one will be recognize the difference between grief and depression. If you think that you are again depressed, you better, you better, you know, seek a professional help. Let them help you go through that. Yeah, if you love this video today, just go ahead, give it a thumbs up over here. And you know, if you're new to my channel, just subscribe and comment. Give me your peace of mind down here so we can also chop it up like we do all the time. Next week, we all customize this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Feels good already, don't it? Yeah, you don't have to miss that one too. I'm gone.